Hey, what's up, everybody? Nick Wood here with Movement Life, day five of Squat Week USA. And I apologize for yesterday. I didn't get a video up. I had a little malfunction with my me and my technical skills. But uh, it's up this morning, and I hope you guys go do it, and you keep squatting. I hope you squatted yesterday. But um, this is the next one today, all right? And today's going to be a big one. Today's, today's about you. Today's about a decision that you need to make right now. A decision that can change your life for the better. You'll be moving better, feeling better hopefully, pain-wise, and maybe even looking better. It's a decision that we make every day before we even walk out of the house. It's a, it's a very easy decision sometimes, but other times it's like, what shoe should I wear? Now, we have our A, our typical stability shoe, B, our hybrid shoes, I, shoe as I like to call it, or C, our free running shoe. Now, before going any type of shopping, especially shoe shopping or car shopping or house shopping, shouldn't you always look into what you're studying? Shouldn't you study what you're looking into? Shouldn't you learn about that car? Shouldn't you learn about that house? Shouldn't you learn about the foot before making a foot purchase? Has anybody showed you a chart of the foot while selecting shoes? No. So we're going to go over it right now. This is a very basic diagram of ligaments and tendons. Uh, ligaments are connecting bone to bone. And tendons are connecting muscle to bone. Then we have, um, we have uh, this musculature here. We have a lot of musculature here, a lot of nerves coming down, a very good blood supply. Very complex. That's the first thing we need to know. A very complex thing. So next we're going to look at these bones. And remember, all of these bones are, need to be connected to ligaments and tendons in order for that, that bo this, 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 the, bone, the bony structure to work properly. So let's go over the bones very quickly, very brief. Up top, we have the phalanges. Below that, still straight bone, is our metatarsals. And finally, we have a group of bones back here referred to as our tarsals. We have a couple down here too, our talus and calcaneus. Okay, now knowing that, what we're going to go over here is the first one is going to go over a stability show. And why we should taper ourselves away from a stability show. Now usually when you go to a uh, any type of shoe short store, there's a couple around uh, the Bethel Danbury Richfield area. Um, if you're a runner, you know who they are. And they will probably give you a stability shoe. Now, before we go any further, we need to know that those tarsals that we just looked at, how they react are to bones around that area. They glide past one another. So now if we take this, this stability shoe and we try to bend it in half, it's not going anywhere. It's a very, very hard arch. Um, it's, a, it's an elevated heel and you can't really rotate it. You want to be able to rotate your shoe, twist it around. The reason being is because that arch, that hard arch, is taking away the job of your plantar fascia, the bottom of your foot. Um, it also takes away the job of all those bony structures. They're supposed to be gliding past one another, getting the proprioception up to the brain and to the body to know where you are in space. And if we can't twist and turn this, that means that those bones are in there doing the exact same thing and they become very stiff. Now, there is also something that's referred to as the back force transmission system. And how this system works in a very brief way is when I step forward, energy is going up my calf to my hamstring, across my SI joint, right here, up to my inferior angle of the scapula and out the top of the head. Now what happens if we can't get that good proprioception, we find that, if we find that people are not aware of where their feet are. So, what I want you to do before even looking down, where are your feet? Are they facing forward? Are they facing out? Check that out. So, it will bring us over to our last, our, our, next, um, our next shoe here. And before, before we go on anything, I want you to know that when, you, when you're wearing those shoes, they're not terrible, they're a starting point. There's always a starting point because we can always improve. Okay, no matter what it is, you can always improve. This next shoe, after you get these, after you wear those shoes out, I want you to get a pair of these. And I want you to walk around a house for a start out, then take a nice little jog. So many people are getting injured in these uh, hybrid and free running shoes. And they're like, oh, these shoes are horrible. I thought they were supposed to fix me. They will. But the problem is, is this. Now we go to a hybrid shoe. You've been walking around a stability shoe now for two or three years, probably even more. So we've lost a lot of proprioception there. So all of a sudden, we're gonna to come to this shoe. We're gonna to come to the hybrid shoe. 
I call it the hybrid shoe because at the bottom of it, it is still not completely f flat. Uh, there's, it's not as, it's not as free as a free running shoe. Oh, look at how they name things. But what you can do with this shoe is you can bend it in half, you can twist it, you can put the nose of it to the tail of it, and you can make a sandwich out of it. Need it, all right? So all of a sudden, those bony structures, those talus, those uh, metatarsals and phalanges are all doing its work. All right, now they're moving around. Now they're getting that proprioception. But do not just go out and buy one of these shoes and expect not, it, not to get pain. You gotta ease into it. You're, you're, all those muscles now need to strengthen because we haven't been strengthening for the past five plus years. Okay, the negative thing about this shoe though still is it that it, had, it still has a heel. So we're still moving forward. Our, our, our momentum is still going forward slightly, but it's a much better decision. All right, so get something along the lines of this. Nike, it's, this is a Nike Free. I love these. I transitioned with them, and it's a great shoe. Um, but going down now, after looking at this shoe, we're going to have one more shoe to look at. The next shoe is a great shoe, but it's, it comes with consequences. It comes with risks, not consequences. Wrong word there. The risks are that your feet are not gonna be strong enough and you're probably gonna get injured. I got injured because I thought I was too good and I messed up and I ran in them and I got, some, I got injuries, I worked it out. But it could have easily be avoided by adaptation. Now, the next shoe is the ultimate of the shoes. This is your goal as a human being, to get the free shoe. Now the free shoe, why it's called a free shoe, is because there's no, there is no heel on it, it's completely flat. So now that forward posture that we're getting, we're getting, we're loosening up that Achilles heel that has just been fired up in there. That, that Achilles heel has been fired up in there. It's been crunched so long. And all of a sudden, people start walking around barefoot to get these free shoes or it becomes summer and they start developing these huge, uh, these, uh, these spurs in the back of their heel just from that, that Achilles pulling and pulling. So that will hopefully eliminate that. And then again, we could also fold it up. We can squish it. We can do whatever we want. Unlike... Besides just being able to put the head to the tail, we can also fold the whole thing in half. We can roll it up. You can roll it up here and boom, put it in our pocket. It'll be awesome. You can save it for later. All right? So you got to go out and get a pair of these. Work your way up to them. All right? Because that's what life is about, working up to something. And this conscious decision that you can be making right now that will change the way you move and change the way you think about movement could be a huge factor in your life. Imagine not waking up without any pain. Imagine, imagine being able to go back and play sports because you move more efficiently and you're not a 50 year old person hunched over like this horrible posture. It's easy, it's a shoe. Go out and adapt. Because if you don't, the world might cave in on you. The world might just throw you completely in circles. And if that happens, What's the point of it? You're always moving, might as well move well. Nick Wood, Movement Life.